China's J-20A Mighty Dragon has entered a phase where analysts believe it could one day help China hunt Navy aircraft carriers, a claim rooted in its rapid evolution, powerful new sensors, and expanding fleet. In this video, we uncover how the J-20A transformed from a developmental prototype into a long-range, data-fused, fifth-generation platform. We'll break down its upgrades, its purpose, and how its growing deployment is reshaping modern aviation strategy. The evolution of the J-20A Mighty Dragon is essential to understanding why analysts now say the aircraft could one day help China hunt Navy aircraft carriers. That capability does not come from a single feature, but from a long, deliberate transformation that took the jet from a promising prototype to a mature fifth-generation platform built for range, sensing, and coordinated targeting across vast maritime regions. When the first prototypes appeared in the early 2010s, the J-20 relied heavily on imported Russian AL-31 FN engines and early-stage avionics. These limitations affected high-altitude efficiency, reliability, and overall mission flexibility, revealing how much China still needed to refine its technology base. At that stage, the idea of the aircraft contributing to long-range maritime tracking, especially against distant, moving naval groups, remained far from realistic. Over the past decade, however, the program experienced a major rise in sophistication. The introduction of China's indigenous WS-10C engine improved thrust stability and allowed the airframe to operate more predictably during extended missions. This change alone expanded the aircraft's endurance, a critical requirement for monitoring large ocean areas where long-distance persistence matters. Refinements to the airframe followed. Engineers adjusted inlet geometry, realigned edges, and introduced new radar-absorbent composite materials. These upgrades enhanced the jet's forward aspect stealth, enabling it to approach sensitive targets or patrol routes with reduced detection probability. This is particularly relevant in maritime environments where carrier groups rely heavily on early warning systems. Equally important was the leap in sensing technology. The J-20A now integrates an ASA radar, multiple infrared sensors, and distributed optical apertures that feed into a central fusion processor. This fused picture allows the pilot to track, classify, and monitor distant objects with far greater clarity. When paired with external data from satellites, drones, or land-based sensors, the aircraft becomes part of a broader architecture capable of observing wide ocean spaces. One of the foundational requirements behind the aircraft carrier hunting concept. Understanding why the J-20A is now discussed in connection with tracking high-value naval assets requires looking closely at its operational design. Unlike traditional fighters built around close-range maneuvering, the J-20A was engineered to function within a broad sensing ecosystem that stretches across air, space, and land. This ecosystem includes satellites, over-the-horizon radars, data relay aircraft, and unmanned platforms, all feeding information into a shared awareness network. The J-20A's job is to act as a stealthy, long-reaching node within that network. One of the most defining features is its support for long-range precision systems. The aircraft's internal bay houses the PL-15, a modern air-to-air -air system with an estimated reach of around 200 kilometers. This configuration enables the J-20A to maintain a reduced signature while operating at significant distances. The side bays carry the PL-10, known for its wide off-bore sight capability giving the aircraft flexibility during dynamic engagements where sudden directional changes occur. The platform's future roadmap includes the PL-17, an ultra-long-range system reportedly intended for distant sensing and response roles. If eventually paired with the J-20A, it would expand the aircraft's ability to participate in regional monitoring patterns that stretch across large ocean areas. A key reason why discussions about carrier tracking often surface Yet the aircraft's strength lies not only in its range, but in its information processing. The J-20A integrates a multi-source fusion model that combines radar returns, optical cues, infrared signatures, and passive data from surrounding aircraft or drones. Instead of forcing the pilot to interpret each channel separately, 
the aircraft creates a unified, filtered representation of the environment. This clarity becomes essential during missions requiring persistent observation across broad maritime zones. Range further enhances its operational value. With an estimated radius exceeding 1,000 miles, the J-20A can remain on extended monitoring routes without depending on frequent support. This allows planners to position it well inland, safeguarding the fleet while still covering large distances. The J-20 is strategic significance becomes far more apparent when shifting from individual aircraft performance to deployment scale. As of current estimates, more than 150 units may already be active across multiple regional aviation brigades, with production rates continuing to accelerate. This expansion changes the role of the J-20A from a specialized asset into a standard, widely available component of national air planning. A larger fleet means broader coverage. When dozens of fifth-generation platforms operate across different regions, planners can assign layered monitoring routes, rotate aircraft through prolonged patterns, and maintain continuous presence across vast areas. This becomes especially relevant in maritime environments, where wide area situational awareness is essential. The more aircraft available, the easier it becomes to maintain persistent sensing corridors extending hundreds of miles offshore. Mass production also supports higher levels of standardization. With increased numbers, maintenance schedules become more predictable, software configurations align across fleet units, and training pipelines grow more efficient. This uniformity accelerates the adoption of upgrades such as the anticipated WS-15 engine, which is expected to provide sustained high-speed cruising, enhancing regional coverage capability even further. The ripple effect extends beyond technical efficiency. As the J-20A fleet grows, surrounding nations adjust their aviation strategies. Some accelerate their own fifth-generation programs, while others invest in enhanced detection technologies capable of managing lower signature aircraft. This broader shift in planning reflects how influential the J-20A has become not merely as a platform, but as a signal of long-term capability expansion. Overall, the strategic impact of the J-20A is shaped by volume, integration, and readiness. Its growing numbers allow it to play a consistent role in regional monitoring frameworks, while its advanced systems support emerging roles, including the long-range sensing tasks that spark discussions about potential carrier tracking capability. The platform's influence comes not just from technology, but from the momentum behind its expansion. The rise of the J-20 A Mighty Dragon reflects far more than a single aircraft advancing through upgrades. It signals a shift in how modern aviation platforms shape long-range awareness, data integration, and regional planning. Through its refined engines, evolving stealth features, advanced sensor fusion, and expanding fleet, the J-20A has become a central element in discussions about future Indo-Pacific air dynamics. Its growing presence supports broader monitoring networks, influences technological competition, and highlights how next-generation platforms are redefining strategic expectations. As development continues, the J-20A will remain a key reference point in global aerospace trends. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.